Hi there, this is a video, a uh, kind of tutorial video. Um, uh, I'm trying to set up a kind of electronic live performance based setup with a DJ mixer uh, running both hardware and software. In my case, Tractor Pro. Um, so basically, uh, I, I want to run on this side of the mixer here um, my software, so my remix decks from a tractor, and on this side, I want to have a couple of channels available for my hardware. In my case, at the moment, being the Electrive and the KP3. Uh, the KP3 has its own channel. I'll go into how I achieve that and getting sound through it, uh, maybe in another video, but yeah, I botched that as well and it works. So, um, uh, yeah, basically, um, there is no sound card in this setup. I'm awaiting my sound card. Uh, I'm F1 controller, which will do my remix uh, decks for me, um, giving me a hybrid control sort of performance, uh, which is what I want, you know, so, uh, along the vein, basically, of John Hopkins, uh, Fortet, um, Ian Golden, uh, people like that, you know. Um, so, yeah, um, I've not been doing this long. I'm very new to electronic music um, creating creation and production and um so I, I as i'm waiting for these bits of gear to arrive i was trying to f figure out a way to get um the tractor pro going through the mixer without a sound card and basically more importantly uh for future and uh immediate use um to get the electribe synced to the tractor so that when everything's playing together in a performance, I have um, uh, beat matched and tempo uh, matched, um, everything running smoothly. Now, I'm not a DJ and I don't pretend to be a DJ. Uh, I don't have any of those amazing skills in beat matching and stuff. I have tried in the past and failed. So I just wanted it to all be synced up and to work nicely together. So basically what I've done in, in a, as a stopgap between getting my sound card is um, it's taken hours to work out, but it's relatively simple to do. Uh, basically, I have the Electribe in the global settings, gone to MIDI and changed to um, external USB. I've run my USB cable here out of the Electribe, round into the Mac here. In Tractor, I've gone into Controller Manager and up here, Generic MIDI, and on Outport, once I plugged the Electribe USB in, it showed up as Electribe Sound. So I clicked on that, and basically, you have then got, via the uh, MIDI clock, um, I guess, settings window here, or section, or cell at the top of the tractor here, um, you have your controller. I've got the tractor set to master, and you simply plus make sure the play is lit up. And then if you want to make sure it's all synced, you can press sync briefly. And basically what will happen is um, I've got two remix decks, desks running here, both with kind of percussive uh, things going. And they are in perfect time with my Electribe as Tractor is sending master clock to my Electribe here. But it's also running the remix desks here. Now they are running in time with the Electribe, so that's all, all fantastic. So then I was, I, I don't have a sound card. How do you get sound from tractor into the mixer? So I know I can't control it properly with external controllers, and it'll only be a stopgap. But it's just a way of getting audio from tractor into the uh, mixer on a channel, so that I can play around and make sounds and use the effects on the mixer, etc., and the effects loop there with a the delay. Um, but it all being in sync. And the obvious and easy solution is to run a lead, um, a 3.5 mil jack, this end from the headphone socket on the, on the Mac into here which is my um, uh, channel here on the mixer. That is that is Tractor coming through there now playing. And that is in sync with Electribe, which is here on this channel. So if we just put this up, we should get the Tractor Remix desk 
backs playing some percussive music. And there we have it there. Very nice. So we have that ticking along nicely. Now, as I said before, I've already got the Electribe routed into this channel here. This Electribe is now slave to, to tractor. So, in theory, when I push this up, we should be in time. There we are. The Electribe playing on that channel, perfectly in time, beat synced to that channel because it's slaved to tractor. Now, if I just bring these down again for a second. There is, some people might say, well, you know, you can't use your headphone socket on that, uh, on the Mac. Well, I have got around that actually because there is a cable you can get and it's like a DJ splitter headphone cable. So it allows you to listen as a headphone normally would on this side here, but also sends the audio down this cable here, which goes into my channel on there. So yeah, I just have to plug my headphones into that there and I can monitor it on there, say if I'm recording. And while I'm on the subject of recording, I've also botched that as well for now. Um, I have record out on the back here of the mixer and that runs via a um, uh, phono, twin phono uh, to 3.5 jack. And that comes into this spare port here, which I've assigned to input. And that, you, you do that in the max um, it, internal um, options uh, settings. And at the moment, I don't record in tractor because I'm not properly set up. I record that into QuickTime. And that has that does work as well, and you, it gives decent results. You get a decent result. I'm no audio um, expert, so I can't say it's amazing or anything like that. And the, maybe the file and the file type might not be ideal for all you pro guys out there. But if you want to put a song on SoundCloud, that will do it, and uh, you'll record that straight out the back of the mixer. So those are a few of the botch things. I'm happy to answer any questions or go over things in more detail if you want to. Um, uh, ask me anything. I'll quickly go over the KP3 now as well because that's quite a useful little thing. Okay, so the KP3 is an effects processor. You have a button here which is a toggle switch here which goes from mic input to line in for your sampling, etc. So what I've got is I've got my um I've got my elect uh, my electribe. What did I do? Yeah. I've got my electribe going into the mixer here. But the, there's a splitter cable here underneath this. This is a splitter. I'll show you one here. You can uh, you can use one of those. Put that in the back. So you split your signal there, and it goes into here. So basically, to explain it better, you have your dry electribe signal going into this channel. Then you have your split electribe also coming into, into the uh, KP3. It goes into the KP3. It comes out of the KP3 out and back into the uh, into channel 2. So basically, when I'm not using the KP3, if I turn this line to mic, there's no signal going in here. But as soon as I turn that signal to line... There is a signal going through the KP3 on that channel, so I can use the KP3's effects, sampling, etc., uh, off the Electribe there. And if I want to sample without the Electribe, uh, simple, you just turn the toggle switch. A little bit of a faff, but another botch way of doing things. Uh, and then obviously, the other thing is that they're on the back of the Allen and Heath Zone 43 is uh, one FX loop and I have uh, that and a reverb coming soon that will be in there for, for all those. So yeah, um, like I said, any questions, give me a shout on YouTube. And um, I'm also on the Korg and Sampler uh, um, Facebook group. Uh, so, you know, just get a hold of me anywhere through there and I can do anything. I'll put another video as we go along because this setup's evolving all the time. Like I said, hopefully here will be an F1 controller and a sound card, and I'll be running the remix decks, decks, um, uh, 
separately using a hand controller rather than you know obviously this setup here you're doing everything by mouse so uh, it's not ideal at all but you know like i said it's a box setup designed so you can have a play while you're waiting to get all your gear together and uh, it works and you can even record yourself as well so there we go all right hope that's helped out everyone and um yeah feel free to ask